What will happen if we travel at the speed of light? Most of us get excited by watching space science fiction movies and the movement of humans between galaxies. But the reality is that the distance between galaxies is so great that such trips are still limited to such movies, because going from one galaxy to another requires a speed close to that of light. Modern science declares that it is impossible to achieve such a speed, but if it is assumed that we can achieve such a speed, what would our journey be like? Speed is exciting for humans and this subject cannot be denied. Ever since our ancestors invented the wheel, the speed has been beyond the capabilities of our legs and since then we have constantly strived to increase the speed of our transmission. In today's modern age, we have developed very fast objects, super fast airplanes, hypersonic missiles, high speed trains, amazing cars and spaceships are part of our efforts to make the dream of greater speed real. But we still have an unattainable dream, moving at the speed of light. Most of us know that such a thing is apparently impossible, but let's talk about it in a little more detail. Will space travel at the speed of light ever be possible? Let's start with some basic questions. The idea of traveling at the speed of light is attractive to science fiction writers. The speed of light is 299,792,458 meters per second. At that speed, you could orbit the Earth more than 7 times a second and humans could eventually explore beyond our solar system with it. In 1947, mankind first surpassed the speed of sound which is much slower than the speed of light paving the way for the Concorde commercial jet and other supersonic aircrafts. With these preparations, will it ever be possible for us to travel at the speed of light? Based on our current understanding of physics and the limitations of our natural world, the answer is no. According to Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity, which is summarized by the famous equation E equals mc squared, the speed of light or c is something like the cosmic speed limit that cannot be exceeded. Therefore, traveling at the speed of light and traveling faster than light are physically impossible especially for anything containing specific mass, such as spacecraft or human. Even for very small things such as subatomic particles, the amount of energy or E required to approach the speed of light poses a significant challenge to the feasibility of near-light speed space travel. The Large Hadron Collider or LHC, the largest and most energetic particle accelerator on Earth, has accelerated protons, meaning particles inside atoms, to the speed of light as far as humans have been able to. However, even a tiny proton needs almost infinite energy to reach the speed of light and humans couldn't have been able to discover near-infinite energy yet. What will traveling at the speed of light be like? Albert Einstein, a scientist who believed that the only true constant of the universe is the speed of light, believed that the distinction between past, present and future is a stubborn illusion, a description that does not necessarily mean he rejects the existence of time. In fact, he calls time the fourth dimension in his theory of special relativity, which is related to three-dimensional space to create a phenomenon called space-time, a theory which is completely approved today. Einstein's theory also created a direct connection between speed and time, which is known as time dilation, a principle which shows that the passage of time becomes slower in relation to objects in motion. The faster an object moves, the slower time passes for it. Many experiments have confirmed this theory. The clock hands that had been moved quickly inside an airplane moved more slowly than the clock hands which had remained stationary on the ground. Since this effect is not detectable on the scale of human speed, time dilation can be well understood in space travel. In fact, if a human travels at the speed of light for two years, the time spent on Earth by his family would be about 30 years. 
Therefore, perhaps the source of human immortality is not a place, but a space journey. The world's most accurate atomic clock also proved another dimension of time dilation. The higher the height of a person or object, the faster time passes for it. For every 30 centimeters of height increase during a 79-year-old lifetime, human gets older 90 billionth of a second. Twins that became fraternal In 2016, Einstein's theory of relativity was tested on a larger and more realistic scale. Twin astronauts Mark and Scott Kelly participated in one of NASA's experiments. Mark stayed on Earth and Scott traveled to the International Space Station for a long time. Although Scott resided inside the station, the station was constantly orbiting the Earth at a speed of more than 28,000 km per hour, and this speed difference made Mark, who was born nearly 6 seconds before Scott in 1964, 5 milliseconds older than his twin brother. In addition to the principle of time dilation, which is the main proven one, humans feel the fluctuation in the speed of time passing well in another situation in old age. Earthquake in time The 9-magnitude earthquake on March 11, 2011 in Japan did not only cause death and destruction, but disrupted the physical mechanism of the entire planet. Of course, in a fraction of a second. The intensity of this earthquake was such that the distribution of the Earth's mass and as a result its rotation pattern changed and the length of the Earth's days became shorter by a fraction of a second. Further investigations by NASA showed that the powerful tremors of the mentioned earthquake accelerated the rotation of the planet and reduced the length of Earth's days by 1.8 microseconds. Please note that microsecond refers to one millionth of a second and each day on Earth is normally about 86,400 seconds. This was not the first time that earthquakes affected the length of the Earth's days. The 8.8 .8 Richter earthquake in 2010 in Chile also reduced the length of Earth's days by 1.26 microseconds and the 9.1 Richter Sumatra earthquake in 2004 also reduced the length of a day by 6.8 microseconds. Travel through the time The group of scientists who are not interested in the block world theory are looking for a way in order to travel in time, a topic that has been taken into consideration many times in science fiction stories and movies. Who doesn't like to go back in time and erase his mistakes by changing them or erasing the bitter historical events such as wars or genocides? Paul M. Sutter, an astrophysicist at Ohio University, believes that humans are constantly and inevitably traveling through time. They travel to the future one second at a time, and if they increase their speed to a great extent, based on the theory of relativity, they can have more influence on the future, just like how astronauts do. Time travel, whether it is into the past or to the future, requires a fundamental capability, moving at a speed greater than the speed of light, meaning faster than 300,000 km per second. But this is not practical, because an object moving at such a speed will become an infinite mass. This means that the increase in mass will increase in opposition to the acceleration of the object. But don't despair, because there is another way to travel through time which will be explained in another video. Don't forget to share your ideas via comments and subscribe to our channel, so you won't miss our next videos.